This is the automatic monitor color temperature adjustment tool and I'll show you what it does. So basically what's happening here is there's a small color sensor right here that's attached to this MacBook through a special cable. This is a FTDI FT232H cable and basically it's just a cable that lets you talk uh, through a USB connection to an I squared C device and that's what that color sensor is. It's an I squared C color sensor. So scripts and programs that run on the computer can query that color sensor to figure out what the red, green, and blue values are that it's measuring. And because the color sensor is attached to this laptop just facing me on the monitor, it's actually measuring the color of the light in the room. And what I can do is actually compute the temperature of the light and adjust the temperature of the monitor to match that so that it color corrects itself or makes itself look like the same color as the light in the room. And I can demonstrate it um, pretty easily using a little LED. So this is just an orange LED that's attached to a battery and the color of orange light is on the uh, warmer end of the spectrum so it's uh, going to be associated with things like incandescent lights. Uh, and what happens if I shine this light on the sensor And you can kind of see, let's see, I'll shine a little bit more. There you go. So the, the color of the screen has actually been tinted a little bit of an orange color to match the color of the light that it's measuring. So if I take this LED away, we should see... That, yep, there you go. So it, it went back to the full white uh, brightness. And you can actually see, so right now it's measuring about 5,000 Kelvin color temperature. Uh, and that's just the ambient light in this room. I have a lot of uh, fluorescent lights that have a higher temperature. And higher temperatures run on the cooler side of the color spectrum. So they're whiter or even bluer in color. And warmer temperatures, um, things that are lower in Kelvin, so things around like 3,000, 2,000 Kelvin, those are going to be orange or red in the color spectrum. So you can see right now it's 5,000 Kelvin, pretty blue, kind of bright, just based on the ambient light. But if I shine this orange LED on here again, it gets a little bit warmer. Now it's very warm. So this is around 2,000 Kelvin that it's measuring. And if I pull that away, it'll go back to 5,000 Kelvin. So you can see it's a lot bluer. So this is pretty handy. Uh, there are certain tools you can run, uh, things like f.lux or redshift or programs that uh, will also change the color of your monitor. Now those are based just on things like your location and the sunrise and sunset times. They don't have any input from hardware to actually know what's the temperature of the light in the room. So that's the cool thing with this project. You can actually measure the temperature of light and have it update your monitor based on that. It's not trying to guess based on your location. And this is using that FTDI cable like I mentioned. Uh, there are also ways to use it with an Arduino. Um, it's a little bit larger. Uh, you'll have to have the Arduino connected to the machine. Uh, but it's also a great way to use this if you don't have that cable. And the program should run on uh, Macintosh, Windows, or even Linux machines. Uh, and it's just a really interesting way to help make your monitor a little bit easier to, to view. So you can see it gets warmer. Oh, very warm. And then if I pull it away, it updates back to a cooler color. So that's the project.